nine years in the big leagues for Liam Hendricks, and this is his best year yeah. yet. Joins us live on Central. Good morning to you, Liam. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Artie. I, I love the American accent. <laughs> oh, hey, how are you? Oh, hey, oh, how are you? 110%. Didn't you go to Jersey or New York? You know, beers and Budweiser's. That's, that's well, B is in Budweiser's. But. I love that. I already <laughs> spelled his name wrong in the prompter, so we're off to a wonderful start. Yeah, we're off to a great start. We're off to a great start. What could go wrong? But I want to, I'm sorry, but I, gotta lab, I want you to elaborate a little bit on your, your Paul Hogan take. You feel strongly Crocodile Dundee really I mean, we set don't, your people back. We don't wear leather vests. We don't carry, some of us don't carry knives. Um, <laughs> don't you, yeah, some of us I'm do. sorry, don't you mean knife? That's not a knife. This is a knife. That, there you go. Thank I you. I have to hear that one more time while right. warming up in the bullpen. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> what about the Simpsons episode when Barco's Australia? Did that oh, the big boot? The big boot. Oh. <laughs> Was that also damaging to the yeah, brand? Um, I think everyone realizes that it's a cartoon. Yeah. Actual real life, so I don't have to worry about it as much. <laughs> yeah. We all this morning were reading an article about you that said, and the title was, The More I Think, The Worse I Am. Has that always been the case? Uh, yeah, but I used to try and think through it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Why did yeah. you change it? Um, just I realized last year, I was in AAA last year, and I went down there, and I'm like, I, I need to go back to what made me successful. It's like the more I think, the more I overthink, and that's my thing. I'm like, I feel like I'm semi-intelligent, but sometimes that plays poorly in the game because I'm overthinking things. I'm like, oh, well, I just threw this guy a fastball. He was late on it, so he's going to be expecting a slider now, and then it's just you end up in a bad place. So you don't We're, study lineups? Oh, no, I study the lineups. I study, like, I've got a, like, I've got heat maps and stuff like that that I look at, uh, but that's just as a guideline. Like, at, at the end of the day, if a guy's late on a fastball... He's late on a fastball. He's late on a fastball. He's probably getting another one. Right. Mm. Where are we in, uh, like, baseball when you're – when Australia, you're talking, do you see anything considerably different from when you were coming up through the ranks playing some amateur ball down there? Um, yeah, I mean, we've obviously got the Australian Baseball League up there now. That uh, that wasn't around when I was first, like, a junior coming up. And then they added two new teams. They added a team from Korea mixed with Geelong and then a New Zealand team as well. So they've um, they've expanded the league a little bit. They, changed, they just changed the name on one of the teams to the Adelaide Giants from the Adelaide Bites. So – that's always uh, a bit of a change, and but um, yeah, coming up, there's a lot more avenues for guys to go out there. You can go see games now. You can go do all this, and I mean, we just had another Australian make the big leagues in Lewis Thorpe with the Twins. So, I mean, this, this stuff's looking good. Um, we're ranked seventh in the world, I believe, and we've got the Premier 12 tournament this off season. So, we're hoping to qualify for the Olympics. Going back to what you men uh, mentioned about thinking and not overthinking. So, how do you reconcile that philosophy? with the state of today's game where it is, there is so much information at your fingertips and being given to you by your own sure. team and front office. How do you reconcile the two? Um, I take it all with a grain of salt because obviously if I'm, I don't want to hear what that hitter's good at. I don't want to hear like, okay, well, don't throw him a fastball in because he's good on him. If I'm going to throw a fastball, I'm get, it may be in, it may be out. I just don't know. But uh, <coughs> for me, the biggest thing on the mound is I, I'll, in, I'll ingest it all, but then you'll see me singing everybody else's walkout songs on the mound. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a, a big uh, singer or hummer or just trying to get that because the more I do something like that, the less I'm actually thinking about who's up to bat or anything. So they bring you in, and you're facing Aaron Judge. You come out humming Aaron Judge's... Or like I don't know what his walk is on, but okay. uh, Deeney, the uh, backup Deeney. catcher with the Royals. Staten Island hero. <laughs> All I know is he's got one of the best walkout songs. It's, it's um, <laughs> Cult of Personality. Oh. Big fan color. of that song. I love that song. So I was singing that the entire time, warming up in the bullpen, and then I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get to face him, but I was still singing it while I was warming up, so... The batter's like, this is supposed to be intimidating. Yeah. It's not like that well, at I, all for I, you. I'm a, I come out to Queen mixed with... Prodigy mixed with Rage Against the Machine, and then I think there's a little Skrillex in there as well. So okay. I like my mashup songs. You're on so. Combo action. So is it supposed to be intimidating their walk up? <laughs> as far as going out with what Baby Shark? Baby Shark. I know, but it gets so everyone going. It's either, it, it's, it's either intimidating or distracting. There we go. There you go. And that's probably <laughs> the latter. Bill was talking about you growing up and, and playing baseball, but it was Aussie Rules football yeah. for a while, right? When did you switch? Uh, so when I was 16, I had a chance to go to both tournaments around the same time. There was the under 16s National Carnival for football. And there was the Baseball Academy on the Gold Coast with, uh, with baseball. And at that point, I was my dad's best friend was the coach of the under-16s team. He goes, oh, do that. You can always come back. There will be a spot for you. And I uh, went to the baseball thing and actually got some phone calls from some teams, from scouts, saying, hey, is baseball a real thing? Or is he just doing this to go and drop down in the pecking order to go to the hometown team? So apparently I was decent. I couldn't tell you that much, but I did all right. 
What do you recall about the first time you threw a baseball? Um, that my tongue was out. Like, there's photos of me pitching as a kid. And by the way, we wore, so this play weekend team with the black pants. I grew up playing in black pants and a powder blue shirt. So picture the Rays, well, like powder blues. Yeah, you go, like Scott. There you go. Picture you go that color with black yeah. pants. Yeah. And then there's me on the mound doing this. <laughs> Michael Jordan style. Oh, now I wear a mouth guard so you only see the tip. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the mouth guard. I mean, you don't see a lot of players wearing that, but is that something because you've had a, a brush with a pitch in the past, or are you just pr- no, cautionary? No, I um, So it came about in spring training in 2015 with uh, Jose Batista brought everybody in when I was with the Blue Jays, and they got their mouth scan. It was a 3D scan of their mouth, and then they, like, print out your mouth guards. But they do a lot of MMA. They do a lot of uh, football and stuff like that because they're actually really, really comfortable mouth guards. Mm. So the one I wear is called the performance one. It sits on the bottom of the teeth at the back, and it helps to – Supposedly helps to, like, when you clinch, helps more oxygen to get down into your in and uh, wow. theoretically oh, so it's perform like, it's like a performance yeah. enhancing yeah. device. Yes. <laughs> so, like, a lot of people have, like, this Under Armour has them as well. This, uh, this company is called uh, Right Guard. No. Guard Lab. It's called God Lab. Right and Guard's a little different. Yeah, Right Guard's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> that'll, that'll speed stick. <laughs> keep it going a little better. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's just um, like there's a lot of different companies out there, but I just have connected with this one, and oh. they can uh, print it out, and it's gold with my number on the side, well, my old number on the side. So a nice grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've been asked to do everything on the mound. You prefer bullpen? Uh, yeah, I like the bullpen. I think it plays into more of my mentality. I think, especially this year, where I'm That's going fun. out there, and I, I'm more angry than I am passive. So with me being angry, you can't really stay angry for seven innings. It's really hard. So now it's like I stay angry for yeah. in, for three batters, and if I have to sit down and go back out, then I'm usually joking around and making fun of somebody in the in the dugout, and then I go back out there and get angry again. I read that you read a book a week. True? Or yes, I'm a. Uh, it's relatively true. I mean, there's been a couple of weeks where I've gone a little over a week. There's been a couple of weeks where I've gone under a week. Uh, mm. But yeah, right now I'm reading Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff. He's an Australian science fiction author, and uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty good so far. So I'm just hoping to knock this one out, and then I've got another. I think I got four books in my bag right now. Wow. Mostly fiction. Uh, yeah, well, they're all fiction. Uh, like, there's some young adult ones which are just breezy, easy to reads, and and then there's uh, there's a couple of science fiction ones in there, and then I'll do this uh, like some of the self help stuff. Like I read Terry Crews' Manhood. That was phenomenal. I've heard that's a good. It's really good. Um, one of my favorite books of all time was Andre Agassi's biography. Andre Agassi. Oh was yes. Phenomenal. Now, that's a uh, that's a pretty thick book, right? That's a heavy You've read. You've read it. Robert, I read. I read some books. It must be <laughs> like the the Madden the, the Madden playbook is is out. I was <laughs> reading the, the Madden. MLB the show. <laughs>